It was quaintly called leisure time. Before the internet, video games, and TV, time was something you whittled away. Dan Robbins, an artist, and Max Klein, a promoter, joined forces and came up with a marriage of commerce and art. It promised to make every man a Rembrandt. Oh, we got sad clowns, horse, blue boy, kittens, more clowns, horses. What is all this I'm looking at here? What is this? It's our paint by numbers salon. All right, first off, what is paint by numbers? Well, it was a genre that was really popular in the 50s and 60s of uh, pre-prepared kits that were all numbered and they came with their own set of paints and people prepared them and did them as a hobby. It was leisure activity and when the piece was done it was very satisfying to see that you had accomplished this. It would take weeks sometimes. Are, are paint by numbers, are they collectible? Can you sell them for three, four, five hundred dollars? I doubt it. The ones that are priced higher than the others, and by higher I mean $50 to $100, are the nudes. So there's uh, nudes paint by numbers? I don't have any. He's a married man. Oh, yeah. We have yeah. children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I wasn't interested in looking at it. I was just kind of, <clears throat> you know, art. I'm an art. I like art. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Really fascinating. Well, well Andy, Andy, since you're so interested in it, I would like to give you one, and you know, when you have the attention span, maybe you can give it a try. Great, I'll do it now. Right. Yeah, you're gonna do it now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It won't take me long. I'll just get right through it. Ah. You want me to put a pot of coffee on for you, Andy? Yeah. Go ahead. Thanks. Uh, maybe uh, let me know what you guys are thinking about doing for dinner. Ah. And uh, I'm gonna need some clean linens. Mm. <clears throat> and done. Really? You're done? Yeah, I'm done. I got a little bored. I'm going to go watch some television or play some video games. Ah. I think he's kind of a host by numbers. I heard that. <laughs> Do you know what kind of guitar this is? A dobro. A dobro? Yes. It's got the name right on the on where? handle. On the handle? Yep. Oh, yeah, dobro. Yeah. Well, it was my husband's, and he played in a school with 36 other pupils. And he graduated from the class in 1937. So it could be older than that. Could be. Have you ever played this guitar? Well, I kind of strung on it a little and made a few notes, but I'm not a musician. I'm a sports person. Well, <laughs> as am I. I'm a sports person, not a musician as well. <laughs> now, how often did your husband play this guitar? Well, he would just get it out once in a while and play at home and outside on the back porch. Mm -hmm. Not a lot. So, how much was this guitar worth when your husband bought it? It was $27.50. Every once in a while, we get something into the show here where everybody's eyes are locked on it. It's incredible. We cannot wait to get our hands on this item. It's going to be really fun. $27.50 was the original cost. Will she make a deal? We'll find out later in the show. We have to do one more thing for me before we do it. What's that? You have to say the name of this guitar again. It's a Dobro. Over.